I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. It's my first official day here and we are about to go for a walk. Um, I was supposed to get some admin stuff done, but we ran into some problems with the office place. So we made an appointment for Thursday so I can get a new SIM card and a local bank account. Um, but yeah, for now, we're just going to go for a walk and chill for the rest of the day, I think. So this is my OOTD. Um, I have boots that I'm going to wear outside. I got this coat here in Germany back in 2017 at Aldi and then these jeans which are super cute I got from my cousin who ironically also lives here in Germany <laughs> um, yeah so yeah we're gonna head out now oh yeah it's like six degrees minus six degrees outside so gotta stay warm I do have a scarf that I'm gonna wear I bought that also here in Germany um, at Primark I'll show you the scarf. <sighs> I'm gonna wear these boots and the scarf from Primark. <laughs> <laughs> it's a frozen lake. Look, look, Liam. It's okay. The ones in the back are. It's fun about. How was I me at the Cause if I ever tried to cut a rug, by the time the night is done, you know that I'm a stranger and I don't ever know what to do. How to find a beat, how to groove But I dream about finding you You make me want to sweat You said Dance with me Not on true, true lane I don't care about where I went Pick a song that never ends Dance with me Not on true, true lane Close your eyes Just move your body 
Hello, it is Friday morning and we are about to go to a market. Apparently there's a lot of like old people who go to this market because it runs from 8 a.m. until 12 p.m. So yeah, we'll see. I'll take you along with. Maybe all this time I've lied. Maybe I just never tried. Cause boy, when I'm alone with you, you make me wanna sway. Wanna move, dance with me. I don't care about where I went. Pick a song that never ends. Dance with me. Close your eyes, just move your body. I don't care about where I went. Pick a song that never ends. Dance with me. Close your eyes, just move your body. We are in Hamburg today in Altona. Um, I'm waiting outside because you can't get into the pharmacy without a mask and I don't have my mask today so yeah that's nice Do you like the rockets? Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today I just wanted to sit down and answer some of the questions that I've received about being an au pair. Um, I wrote them down on my phone so if you do see me like looking at my phone that's literally why. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. So the first question that I got was what is an au pair? Um, an au pair is not a nanny. It's a cultural program where you move in to a, Like you move to a different country and you stay with the family as like a cultural exchange kind of thing um, It's typically done by 18 to 26 year olds. Well, not typically you <laughs> that's literally the window that you get 18 to 26 is the limit 26 is the limit and i'm actually considered to be an older au pair which is so funny because i'm like 24 um and you're immersed into the culture and you just live with the family like you're a part of the family and in exchange you take care of their child or children um yeah that's pretty much it um it's not a nanny um you just live with the family and you're part of the family that's pretty much it so what I do is I live with a family that has a one-year-old. Um, so whatever you do with a one-year-old, you feed him, play with him, all the good stuff. When his parents are at work, I just have to take care of him, play with him, all the good stuff. Um, and then how did I get here? So I signed up on Au Pair World to become an au pair and then the family reached out to me. And then we had a few interviews and boom, the rest is history, quite literally. Uh, we had a few interviews and then they liked me. We had a few more exchanges and we ended up where we are today. Oh, <sighs> Also, like when you are an au pair, getting to your target country is not the responsibility of the family that's 
completely your responsibility so that brings me to the next question how much did i spend to become an au pair so i did my a1 certificate um in cape town and that was 2000 rand um i think it's slightly more money if you do it um in like johannesburg or something but i paid 2000 rand for it i studied german on youtube so i didn't have to pay a single cent for any of my lessons which was nice um, i'll link the channel down below if you're interested in that then i had to pay for my visa and that was 1370 rand that's also your responsibility and then i also paid for my own well my mom paid for my one-way tickets to germany and that was 7000 rand pretty much on the dot actually that comes up to about 9,070 Rand. Uh, but that excludes like the other little costs that you're gonna incur. Like if you are taking the language exam in a different place, like for me, I lived in Stellenbosch, but I took the exam in Cape Town because it's not available in Stelis. So I had to pay to get to Cape Town back and forth. I had to pay to be able to go to the embassy. Um, what else did I pay for? Like getting to the airport, for example, that's money that you still have to pay. And also when you go to the embassy to get your documents, like the documents handed in for your visa, you need to print those documents. So that's like extra costs and you also need to get your photos taken. So yeah, I'd say like north of 9,000. So like maybe close to 10,000 Rand. I don't know, but that's round about how much I spent. Um, I paid for it mostly myself. The only thing that my parents paid for, my mom paid for my plane ticket, my one-way plane ticket, I am paying for my other plane tickets. So yeah, that, that was pretty much all how much I spent. And then what do I get in return for all of this? <laughs> I have a place to stay, thank God, food, healthcare, a language course, and also pocket money. So when you're an au pair, you don't get paid a salary, but rather you get pocket money. Um, yeah, there's a reason why it's called pocket money because it's not like a crazy amount of money that you're making. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to know something else or you feel like I didn't give good enough answers or you want to know how I learned German, anything that you want to know, please feel free to leave that in the comment section down below and I will answer it to the best of my ability. I love you a lot and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!